welcome the students of class 8 welcome to our social science history class and today in this class we are going to discuss the exercise question answers of chapter number 9 of chapter number 9 of old ncrt book and it is also in chapter number 8 of new ncrt book 2 in new ncrt book okay so about today we are going to discuss the exercise question answers from that chapter so the first question is given into an exercise that is that there are some name given those are some eminent personalities and the social reformers so you have to mention that what social ideas did the following people support so i am giving the answer here so number one raja ramon roy so raja ramon roy associated with the abolition of sati okay so raja ramon roy associated with the abolition of sati number two dayanand sarswati and virsalingam pantalu from pantalu from south india madras dayanand from punjab and virsalingam pantalu, uh, pantalu from madras supported we do remarriage okay so number three jyoti rao phule and jyoti rao phule worked for equality among castes so this is the important contribution of Jyoti Rao Phule of Maharashtra. And number uh, four, it is number four personality, it is Mumtaz Ali. And Mumtaz Ali also the also supported women education, worked for women education. The last one, it is the Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar. And Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar also set up various schools, lot of schools in different parts of the Bengal for women education as well as he was a strong critic of widow system and that's why he introduced he also support supported the widow remarriage act so these are some people who worked for social change in india so next segment this, these are the objective type of question answers so next segment is the true and false so if you have completed, I am rubbing this for another segment. Okay, so in the true and false segment, number two, four sentences given in your book. So the first one, when the British captured Bengal, they framed many new laws to regulate the rules regarding marriage, adoption and inheritance of property etc and the answer is and this sentence is absolutely true number b that social reformers had to discard the ancient texts in order to argue for reform in social practices so this sentence also the so-called social reformers had to discard the ancient text in order to argue the reform in social practices. This is also a false text statement because most of the social reformers, they also pointing out from the ancient texts that these practices were not supported by the ancient scholars also. And everywhere they supported the women education and the widow remarriage so these examples also taken by the eminent scholars so these scholars vidya sagar raja ramon rai and represented in front of the society conservative society that these are these practices have no sanction in these ancient texts so this is also a false number c that reformers got full support from all sections of the people of the country and this is also a false statement because at that time in the Indian society was so much conservative, so those who practiced some new, something new and tried to reform the society, they were very much criticized. They criticized those people. So that's why the reformers not got the full support from all sections of the people of the society. Okay, so this is a false statement. Number D. Number D is the Child Marriage Restraint Act was passed in 1829. It is also a false statement because Child Marriage Restraint Act was passed in 
1929 after 100 years so this is a false statement so students that's all from our objective type of question and answers so next class we'll going to discuss some more question and answers from this chapter and also the rest of the chapters and today also i will upload another video on the exercise question answers of chapter number 8 that is the chapter related to education so thank you students thank you for watching see you in the next class